Yes, so um, I am the lead academy nutritionist. Uh, there's, we're really, really fortunate at Arsenal Academy that we actually have two academy nutritionists, myself and Stephanie Ridley. Um, and my role is to effectively work over all the age groups from under nines up to under 23s, um, in which we, we work with them in a full-time capacity um, for the older age groups and obviously the younger ones we see a couple of times throughout the week. Um, and yeah, we, so we work really well within the, the multidisciplinary team. Uh, we sit within the sports science and medicine department and massively missing the office because we overlook the gym, which is always a good place to be in the uh, in the training ground. There we go. So, I mean, we, we um, so this is, this is kind of, it's a lot of information in this one, this one slide. Um, but this is our, our VMOS, so our vision, mission, objectives, strategies, and tactics. It's a lot of information, but this is kind of how, as a nutrition department, we work uh, within Arsenal Academy. I've kind of broken it down a little bit easier um, and kind of more food focused in another triangle. So we like to, at the younger age groups, um, make sure we have this developed a solid food first approach. So that's uh, eating for growth and development, making sure they're getting all the essential nutrients and developing these lifelong habits to help them progress hopefully, to uh, full-time playing careers. Then as they get older, we start um, introducing more football-specific nutrition, so um, introducing nutrient timings, macro and calorie targets, and really understanding, from my point of view, the fuel and refuel um, kind of guidance. And then as we get to the top of the period, uh, so at Pyramid, we talk more about individualized performance nutrition, so more periodized nutrition, and the use of herbs, gem phase, and things like this. Um, we, as a, in the academy, um, because they are schoolboys predominantly, um, and one of Arsenal's key um, strategies is that they have become lifelong learners. So it's all around that education, and I think nutrition is really important for that. So we have stages of learning as they go through. So for the foundation phase, uh, so the under nine to 11s, their long-term nutritional goal is eating for health and perform uh, health and growth. And education terms of that, it's knowing food groups and identify identifying basic food choices. But then, because these uh, these players are so quite young, um, it is a predominantly a parent-focused education system. So we utilise things like recipe of the week and home nutrition work um, worksheets and guidance through this. Whereas as we start to get older for like the early youth development phase, so the 12, 13 to 14s, it predominantly grows for eating for exercise and growth. And so we want them to begin to understand the need for food and how it will impact their, their bodies and how the different foods and their roles um, are essential for their, for their growth and exercise. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so this is a kind of like a daily menu that we actually, as we talked about, um, we put out at the beginning of the COVID-19 crisis. So kind of a, a goal point to hit. But then these are some of the examples of the work, uh, the presentations we've done. So the recapping with the younger age groups, we look at build, fuel and protect. And understanding that what they need to eat, not only just be a, a football player, but being a, a growing teenager. When they go through the late youth development phase, we are trying to become more specific towards football and training, um, particularly as they hit under 16s and they, they transition from um, training predominantly down at Hale End to coming up to London Colney and they do more full time, full day training sessions. Um, and for me, it's, it's understanding this fuel versus refuel, uh, really trying to get that periodized nutrition guidance coming into it. Um, so things, again, this is what we've done for the guys, which is focused around portion sizes, real easy, simple things to be putting out there. Um, and stuff we had the nutrition at home uh, during the coronavirus. And then finally, the performance nutrition, the, the PDP, so the 18s and 23s, um, understanding and choosing appropriate foods, 
really kind of getting that individualized nutrition approach and because we are we see them every single day we are able to um hammer home those points and really make these these um, nutrition programs completely individualized because the the reality of um academy football is that under 16s and below are still at full-time school where they should be really so we won't be able to see them every single day because they're not full-time athletes but the older age groups we can and we are creating that kind of um it should be like a seamless transition to the first team as you've seen the arsenal uh, um first team that we have a huge amount of academy players now playing up um and i think that is a real testament to how um it is a seamless transition across all aspects of the football. Um, but things that we've again put together, so the pre-match, real simple, quick, easy infographics that players seem to like. At this age group, we also in, um, put in body composition scans and recipes and things like we do a lot of cooking um, and trying to get players to be a bit more adventurous in the kitchen. And yeah, that's my kind of philosophy around it.